Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be looking at how you can create an invoice summary report and how you can use our pre-configured invoice summary reports. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go up to reporting and then click on report wizard. You'll next see category invoice and you'll see invoice summary and you'll see invoice credit summary. Now these two mean that you can create bar charts, pie charts, dotted charts, line graphs, anything you like. But we're just going to go through invoice summary and we're going to click on next and what you'll see here is the filtering page so you can filter by certain things or you can include all results and not filter but I am going to filter so I'm going to select a filter by invoice date and I'm going to do it between a month so between so at the moment it says the 21st of the 30th that's not quite good enough so I'm going to click on the little calendar here and go this month and then I'm going to click on next and then the next things we need to look at is what columns we're going to include in the report so you could actually have more than multiple, you could have three or four bar charts and you can select those properties from here so for example we've got count that's already in there that will just tell you how many invoices you've done that month but if we scroll down you'll see other things like total gross and that's what we're going to do so I'm going to put total gross in there and then I'm also going to go down to here and I'm going to decide how I want to group those results. So I'm going to group those results by account manager. So it will show me how many invoices my account manager has done this month and how much total gross he's made. So once I've got that, I just click on next and then I click on finish. And then you can see that I've got my results here and you can see the count and the sum total gross. But the next thing I want to show is the chart. So I want to see it in a chart format. So I can click in chart and I can see the chart. So as you can see, they're all in percentages at the moment. So it's just telling me the count in percentages and the total gross in percentages. However, if I want the value only, I can click on label here and click value only. And it will give me those values. I can also do percent and value as well if I want both. You can also decide to take out one if you want. So you can just do that and you can tick on count again and it both comes up. You've also got the ability to print it. So you can print it if you like. So you can print it like that and you can save it as a PDF. And you can also export it and export the report to Excel or you can export the chart to a bitmap JPEG image if you want to. Now other things you can do is also set up the chart. So you can go to chart setup, decide well actually I don't want a pie chart, maybe I want a bar chart. You can change the colors. You can go to series options and you can also put in more results if you wish. So if you had more than 10 account managers at the moment, it will only show the top five. But if you wanted the 10, you could type in 10 in here and in here. So that is how you, you can create a report. And you just click OK on that. And you can now see that we've changed it to a bar chart and it's combined, combined the charts as so. Now, if you untick that, it will just put them in separate ones, one for count and one for some total gross. Okay, so that is how you can create a report. Now the next thing is to save it. So if you want to save it, you can go to file, save report as, and then you can give it an account description. So you might call it account manager, monthly invoice report. You can put it in a category, so in invoice, and we can press OK. You can also make it private as well if you want to. So press OK, and that will be saved. So I'm going to close that, and I'm just going to show you some of the pre-configured reports that we've done as well. So you can now go to reporting, and you'll see pre-configured reports invoice. Now, as you see, anything with a bar graph or a pie chart means it's something that we've done already. So for example, if you wanted to see invoice value by account manager for the year, you could just click on that and it will show you all the invoices you got for the year. So I'm going to click on that bar chart and I'm actually going to say I want it for this year and click refresh and that's given me everything for this year. And I can go to chart and I can see who my best salesman is for this year or who's got the most invoices in. Okay, so that's how you can use some of our pre-configured reports. I'm just going to close that. So thanks very much for listening. Take care.